Okay, I'm gonna do another video on thinning uh, slabs that's knocked off the rocks like this one here. Give me a drink of water real quick. I done while, one while ago and I'm using the kid cut, kind of hoping it'll show up a little better. On this dark uh, piece of leather I got to protect my, my leg. All right, try to explain to you as I go. Here we go. Got me a platform here. I'm gonna try to come across and jump that ridge, which I did. And I'm gonna build one over here and try to jump this high spot. All right, you see this high spot right here. Try to jump it, I did. Now I'm looking at my base. Need to start doing some thinning on it. You hear that little purring noise? I got a refrigerator back there. I keep my water in. It's about 30 years old and it's trying to go out. Just started purring yesterday, making a rattling noise. Sound like the fan or something. Stuck on it. You can guess whether or not I'm gonna break this point. Whichever way you guess, if you're the winner, I'll give you that refrigerator since you're going out. It's not any good to me. It'll be a free gift. Okay, got the base looking pretty good. Right through here, big old gigantic turtle shell right there. Looks like a snapping turtle shell. It's a high. Take a bigger, go back to a pretty good size billet. Take some pretty good lick, bring that down. One almost got it. Now move down this way and try to get it on the point end. There we go. We got most of it. Got a little right in here now. That one did good. Both of them did good, put it that way. That one did good. When I finally hit it, that one did good. <clears throat> now we got that old nasty turtle hump right here on this side. Uh, this base is going to be a little narrow, so I'm going to come off on the corner of this base and take some stuff off right here. Kind of like to round the corner of those bases like this. Take the smaller billet and just not hit quite as hard. That did a good job. All I got to do is go this way now and I'll get the rest of it out. Put this back. I hit right here going this way. So when I come down, I hit like this, but I hit going this way and see the flake went that way. And then got that turtle hump out. A lot of times I run my flakes on angles across the, uh, instead of just straight across. I watch beginners learning. 
and people that's learning to nap, and they usually just want, want to hit straight across a piece like this. And they never think about angling to help them get out of trouble with something. An angle's a real super good way to get out of a hinge. If you got a hinge and you want to get rid of it, that's a good way. If I get one in this piece, I'll show you how to do it. If it's, if it's the right type hinge. Okay, this baby's getting pretty thin. I'm gonna go back up here to the base because it's high where I'm rubbing my thumb. Lots of times I forget to tell you where I'm rubbing my thumb. The usual one I'm talking, whatever the problem area is, is uh, where I'm rubbing my thumb. This whole area right in here is high, so I'm gonna come right like this. Set my platform up, and I'm gonna come this way on an angle. That one did pretty good. Gotta make me a little more platform right here. That one didn't do nothing. I didn't have it ground good enough. That's okay, we'll just come this way with it. Don't wanna play that way, we'll play this way. Now we're coming straight across. Got it out. And straight across. I'm gonna do it one more time. Got a little hinge right here. I'm gonna raise this edge up. See if I can take it out. The edge was too low to take it out. It went right up to it and stopped. Okay, it's out. Got a little spot right here I'm gonna take down. There we go. I'm glad that rattling noise stopped. I don't know about y'all. That stuff's getting on my nerve. Now, if you look, Got a high air right across here. So we got this gonna be the end of point zone. So I can come on around here like I'm making the point. Start rounding it. And that left me a, a platform to hit right there. See how good that worked? Hit that way and almost straight across, but it wasn't. Just enough angle to reach up there and do what I want it to do. Kind of do the same thing here. One, two. Now I'm gonna come up here and get this part. We've got some cortex on it right here. Just hit it, hit it then. It helps when you hit it good. And this don't do nothing but burn the energy up. All right, I'm gonna try to come at least halfway across here where this cortex is. Right to there. Shoot on an angle this way. I got a ridge. I'm gonna hit right back towards me like this. You can watch me swing. I'm swinging that way. I'm trying to work my way into it. Went that way. Get over a little point. Come back and do it again. Went that way. Go over a little point. Come back and do it again. Went that way. Go over a little edge. Walked it all the way down on an angle. Now we'll come back this way on an angle. I'm going back and forth on this like this. All I'm doing is sticking this edge. It's kind of too sharp right now. I'm just working into it where it get thicker. 
I read sometimes the thick, you kind of need to hit it like this and hit into it so you got a, a thicker area to work over. That's all I'm doing now. I'm going to thin this point as thin as I can get it. Too good one. Hope I can get them that good on this side. Hope the point be real thin. Get them to work that good over this side when I turn it over. Yay. Well, that one did. One more side to go. Keep your fingers crossed. What I'm doing, I'm coming in this way. I'm not going straight across. I'm angling it towards the point. Good one. Good one. Excellent one. A little point. Pretty dog on thin. I'm going to come back up here and thin this base. Chalky up here on this base, it's not it's sort of the outside of that rock where the cortex was at, the limestone, whatever you want to call it. Go to a little teeny tiny bit and see what happens. I hate switching billets because you get used to the, the feel of the one you're swinging. You get a lighter one or something, sometimes you overshoot. You end up breaking it the first time you try it. That's why I'm hitting like this. I'm trying to work my way in. I got my finger right under the edge so I won't overshoot it, which I didn't. Got good. Good, good luck over that. All right, we're going to come in here. Hit down on an angle like I was talking about a while ago. So that platform is up. Hit down on the platform angle. Grind it. <clears throat> this reddish strawberry-like area right here kind of high and it's got a little hinge on this side. I'm going to try to come through and take that hinge out. That's exactly what I did. Went all the way across to where the hinge was. Not all the way across it, but about 80% of the way across it. Now that's pretty doggone good. Let's see. I'm going to come back on this top side now. Hit me some downward platform float. Okay, I'm about done with this one. Let's make a beautiful pine tree or a little bit of Dalton.
Okay, I'm going to take a few minutes and straighten this edge up so we can tell what's up with it. The edge is kind of so wavy, it's hard to tell. I know it's real thin, but still, we need to see what we need to do. I'm probably going to finish it. I'm going to straighten it out, that's going to be the end of it. Then I might thin it some more, or attempt to put it that way. I can work bigger ports, five, six inch ports, a lot faster than I can these little ports. I don't know why, but I can. Well, I know why I'm not trying to make them as thin, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> this edge is pretty straight where I'm tapping my fingers a little higher right in there. Some high air over here while I'm moving this one, but all in all, it's pretty straight. I'm going to go through and see what I can do. Said I probably wasn't gonna try to thin it anymore. I just gonna go ahead and pressure flake it and straighten the edges up. But what the heck? This is a learning process for me. I don't know about you. Anytime I'm trying to make a port real thick, it's a learning process. I learn something on every one of them. Hot in here. I'm gonna stop getting this wall of water real quick. Okay, we're ready to get back to it. All right, this side thin real well. I'm gonna come back and try to meet it on this side. Hopefully, we don't break it. Can't miss I didn't hit it more than once, more than twice. I was missing it. Coming up it like this. Got it out. I had a hinge. I didn't even think to say anything to you about it. Let me see if I can put it all back together. Let's see how this thing was laying before I separated it. 
Okay, it was just like this, and I hit this way towards me. As you can see, the flake went that way and took that hinge out right there. I feel like I had to do it two or three times, but it traveled further enough the first time. Straighten the edge out one more time, see what we got. I think this boy needs some food. Man, my stomach's horrific. It bees are growling. We're supposed to get that storm tonight. We've had two hurricanes come through here and the tail end of them. I've had trees down, power out. The one that's coming right now in the Mississippi, we're supposed to get the edge of it tonight, by the rain. It's so still and hot right now. I've heard them say the calm before the storm. It's not a breeze stirring anywhere out there. I believe that mosquito hawk was to fly by. It looked like a helicopter wind off his wings because there's no breeze. He let him stir it up some wind. All right. Cross your fingers and count your toes and hold your nose for here it goes. I don't think I've ever seen it this year, this steel. I've seen this steel before. It's been a long time. Trying to get the tip real thin. The striking on it. 